So to uh, save pressurization gas <coughs> from a tank, uh, I can uh, do tests by pressurizing by this bike pump, which goes through a fitting that's in the suit right now, but of course it will be removed later. But this will bring us up to 3 PSI. So now what I do is the spray bottle test to look for leaks. I used to do them only at night, the uh, looking for leaks only at night. I'd close up all the windows and everything real late at night uh, where I could hear. And then I would listen for the leaks, but that only worked until the very small leaks were the only ones left, ones that I couldn't even hear. And then I found, oh, if I use a spray bottle with some low soapy liquid in it, the bubbles will come up, and I'll show you that now. <clears throat> so, spray bottle, nothing to it, and start spraying the joints and all the fixtures, and if you see bubbles coming up, there's a leak. In this case, no leak. I used to have some right around the helmet seal here. But you don't see bubbles coming up. Big bubbles mean a big leak. Small bubbles, a small leak. And that's not happening. This seal has given me a lot of problem. And uh, uh, like all the seals, it's going to be replaced with metal before long. But you can see this one is really bad. And if I just move it a little bit, you can hear it leaking there. Of course, now that I've tried to show it to you, I can't find the leak. Can't find it on that one. Um, all the other places. Oh, here we do have actually a little, little bit of one. See how these bubbles are coming up. That's a leak somewhere. Yeah, right there at the base. So as that's happening, that means gas is escaping. You see we're at uh, 2 PSI right now inside the suit. So I've lost one pound just in the last minute or so. Uh, that leak rate is coming down. Here's where I found a leak that I really didn't expect the other day. Manual. If I turn this valve here, I can manually the pressure. And that basically uh, allows me to jump pressure in case the reserve again. the gas or the uh, through fitting all the through fittings are going to be replaced with uh, metal uh, before long uh, so right now the point is knocking out these last leaks which has been the point for <laughs> for months now um, but they're all under control now, none of them are really unknowns 
uh, and they're all through the fixtures. The zipper doesn't leak, the airtight zipper. The uh, faceplate isn't leaking anymore. Uh, and there are no leaks in the suit, holes in the suit. And it's just through the fittings. Well, all those fittings, I know exactly how to crank them down now, make my own gaskets to really seal them up. Um, and it works really well. So uh, now the point is, wrap it up. <coughs> we'll wrap up this stage uh, by continuing to identify and make sure that basically all of those leaks are from gas. So maybe now I'll just uh, drop the suit pressure and you can see it uh, uh, drop its shape as I'm going to dump the pressure out of the suit now. So there it goes down below one. And I'll leave it like that for now. I have a couple things to take care of.